Rose Roar Juice here today and it's literally 2020 and this is my first actual video actually sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys directly so happy freaking new year and today what we're gonna do is a lot of you have been asking me what are my tattoos what do they represent why did I get them what are the symbolized and stuff so we're gonna get onto it and especially we have a new piece you guys have literally been like like saying have you had this before like when does this happen but yes we're gonna talk about all of that very soon and if you do want to take my tattoos as inspiration go right ahead I advise you to do it if you have inspiration if it's really something you want to do so go ahead and take whatever tattoo design you want but yeah Let's get on started with this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And yeah, let's get started. So, for this tattoo, I'm literally going to post a picture either here or wherever. And it's basically in the back of my neck. It's a Holy Trinity triangle. It's basically Holy Trinity and Faith. So I got that in the back of my neck because one of my friends did pass away, well, it was it was also on the news if you haven't like it was a high school type of thing he did pass away because accidentally he on the east river of in harlem literally fell over the railing and drowned so i did this to tribute to that friend and also holy trinity and faith in life so that's one of them the other one is this one that i have right here this is one of my friends who did it it was actually my second tattoo and i did it because flowers do bloom and there are artificial flowers out there that last long so flowers mean blooming and artificial flowers too so i got that because since i had my open heart surgery i actually blossomed and became a different person than i was after the surgery and a lot of people do say if you have an open heart surgery sometimes you know the personality changes a little bit so it has changed very much because i'm not shy how i used to be and i'm more creative now than i used to be before my open heart surgery so and also since i blossomed into someone new that's what the flower represents and I'm pro it's supposed to be a half sleeve, so I'm probably am going to finish it sooner or later. So my next tattoos are two that I got in one day. So the two tattoos that I did get on the same day was on Friday the 13th. Some tattoo shops do this special thing that you can get a tattoo for $20 of some tattoos probably you can go wherever and it'll be 20 but some tattoo parlors have a like have a little picture frame and they'll tell you which ones are the ones they're going to give you for $20. So I went to the one in the Bronx with my best friend and I got two which is basically the snake and the lightning bolt and a finger that a lot of people always laugh when I show them because they think that I'm like flicking them off and shit but it is not. What I think about the Thunderbolt, Thunderbolts are strong, are powerful. So I just did this because I wanted to always look at the Thunderbolt and just know that, hey, I am powerful, I am very strong minded and it always reminds me what it is. And also because when I flick people off, they can, you know, flick people off and, you know, just be like I'm powerful F you if you don't think so that I'm not but I think I am so that's what basically I got it there for the snake the snake got a lot of different definitions of meaning symbols symbolize it can be negative positive doesn't matter how you put it but everyone has different perspective on a snake tattoo I heard a lot of people have it like negative way because there's some snaky people some fake snaky people so they put it as a negative thing but a snake so i had to pull up my phone because this is important of 
what a snake literally symbolize and a lot of and it's not always freaking negative it's never negative so this is what a tattoo of a snake symbolize it's literally the trans the symbol of transformation rebirth healing and immortality mortality i can't say that word very well but it's also a symbolize of knowledge wisdom fertility knowledge and patience so as I read on here, basically all of those is good because I do have a lot of patience. I always love to learn different knowledge and stuff, so why not? And I do have, well, I have a lot of patience, like literally a lot of patience. And yeah, the, the snake is basically the strongest also, so why not? Put the tattoo of a snake to have wisdom knowledge and patience in life literally that's what it is but i don't know why a lot of people make it seem like the snake is a bad symbol a negative symbol it's really not for the last tattoo that i have is the dragon tattoo in on my arm literally i literally just got this december 21st i believe and it's almost completely healed it still has a little bit more of a shine and peeling a little bit but it's almost a hundred percent finished healing and i got this because i was looking to towards on the on google to see symbolized of different types of tattoos that are very very strong and symbolize something in my life and what i kept seeing was the dragon tattoo now the dragon tattoo is basically a tattoo with strength, wisdom, power, longevity, prosperity, and good luck. And there is negative, you know, side of having a dragon tattoo, but it's mostly the most positive thing. Like, if you have positivity in your life, you're probably going to get this tattoo. I am so in love with this tattoo. Having longevity, prosperity, and good luck, and strength, and power, and wisdom is something that I kind of realized that I needed this year. But yeah, so having the dragon tattoo has been the most amazing thing. And literally every single time I do see these tattoos, it also has a reminder that if I'm always down or something that, hey, reminder that you're strong, you're powerful, you're motivated, you have wisdom, you are good luck within yourself. So that's why I have these tattoos. I only have five for right now. I am planning to do more, but not like very quick because I just got this one and this is the biggest one that I ever gotten. Um for the tattoo places, everything will be in the description below. If you're in New York, you should check them out. And one of them are my well, kind of like sisters in a way, so I'll put her link in her Instagram in the description below. You can go ahead and check her out. Um, but yeah, I literally have my onesie on and it's freaking hot right now. And Jeffrey just released a video of him breaking up with Nathan, so we're, <laughs> we're gonna watch this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And tell me what kind of tattoo and what symbol, what symbol is your tattoo like what does it mean why you got it and the only reason i got my tattoos is because they meant something deep down for me and i'll do more of a video on that and i also i'm going to do a video on how i treat my tattoos the healing process soon very soon but i'll see you guys next time deuces Nobody else,